I hear you guys. Also, come on, you. Come on, boy. You good boy. Animal's face when she sees some alpha. Oh no, I'm alpha. You're closing the door in yourself. He's trying to finish the grain, but little girl, Bree Bree, you let him eat. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I just fell in the mud. Like, welcome to my life. Anyways, welcome. You're probably gonna see mud all over me, but that's okay. It's part of farm life and it's part of rain life and clay life because if you have clay and you have rain, basically you have your own skating ring. So the culprit of my fall is not, which I need to mention, it's not the clay and it's not the rain. You can see it there, Those, that's just coming from the trees. The culprit is that I have two different socks. No, just kidding, that's not the culprit. The culprit is these shoes. I bought it at Goodwill's really nice hiking shoes for, I think, I don't know, $3 or $5, they're maroon. And those shoes are not slippery. I mean, this is like the death of slipperiness. This is a mess, but I put them to wash and today I decided to wear this instead of my box and that's what happens. I mean, you don't wear bad shoes in the mud, period. So I am really excited when I see a little bit of sun. The boys are waiting for me to feed them, so please excuse them. wanted to do a quick um, answering question I guess that one of the <laughs> I shouldn't wash my hands that's one of the things that I was asked recently and that is about milking Clara um, I got a comment asking if I only was milking at night and for whatever reason not sharing that and to be honest with you it's because I am not milking her uh, the only reason and when Mocha and Annabelle had her kid their kids last year I did start separating and milking them but the only reason why I'm not doing that it's because Clara has four kids on her and if you ever had a mom with kids you know that they feed them for a few seconds and move on a few seconds and move on and during the day, Clara is just browsing, going around. She really doesn't have the patience to stay for every single one of them. So what happens is that she feeds them mostly at night. It wouldn't make sense to separate them during the day and make them cry and suffer all day. And health-wise, it wouldn't make sense to me to separate them at night because I want them to get all the nourishment that they can from their mom's milk. Is that your house, Cookie? Yeah? Is that your new house, Mama? Hey, you're such a good girl. Not really. You're pretty feisty and get in lots of trouble. 
You're a cute old lady, though. I was um, commenting on Heather at uh, Sage and Stone Homestead. She asked about pasteurizing raw milk, what were you know ideas? And I think raw milk is amazing. It helps with a lot of things. I have first-hand experience on that. I think it tastes amazing. So if anything, I always say that it's um, if your dough is eating right at least mine, their, their milk tastes sweet. Almost as if you put some kind of sweetener in the milk, almost like a vanilla taste. So it's not only delicious, but it's also very nutritious. And I've seen a lot of changes as far as teeth and calcium and um, overall health after we started drinking raw milk. And I do miss it. I mean, don't get me wrong. But I know as good as it is for us to drink that raw milk is as good for those babies that need all the antibodies and everything that a mom's milk will provide so they have a healthier life. So for me right now, the fact that these kids are gonna move on to other pastures and that they are going to, and that's another thing that maybe I'll share in another video, but, um, as far as that, I just want to make sure that whoever gets to keep these kids, I'm going back and forth on that, uh, are just going to get the healthiest little kids and that they will have everything that they need from the get-go. Does that mean that I would do the same with Mocha and Annabelle? Well, if they had quads, more than likely. Uh, my plan is for right now is to a shade because of the sun but my plan right now is to let them stay with mom non-stop until eight weeks after they turn two months then I'm gonna start separating and that's when I'm gonna start to get my milk it all looks like so. he's gonna run at any minute I don't know if he it's because he's the most bullied out of all of them but he's always in that stance of I'm ready if I have to run from here Because of that, I feel like having a good start is important for me in my farm with my goats and we all do things differently so please don't feel like everyone needs to do what I'm doing. I feel like you have to evaluate and see your personal situation, your personal dough, how many kids she has and what you want out of this. If you believe that letting them nurse longer or you know, not separating at night, it's gonna be a health benefit for the little babies or not. I am convinced, I've seen it, and I can't be argued about that. I mean, I respect other people doing things differently, but I firsthand can tell you that while other people are struggling with parasites and other things in my area, my goats, I believe that the little baby goats, that's what I'm saying, get that healthier start and maybe a little bit more resistant to parasites just because they were on their mom and for a little bit longer than your typical. However, I did separate Mocha and the girls when they were older and that way I made sure that um, I would get my my cut of milk and as soon as they turned eight weeks old I am going to start separating anyways so that's when I'm gonna start milking Clara and to be honest with you I could totally do it right now I have my uh, milking st station and you know I have my things to get it done but it's not what I expected we had other plans and if you watch yesterday's video you probably not understand 100% but there's a lot of things that are on hold right now. And one of those things is building that little extension of the goat house or the goat barn that we initially wanted to have our milking area over there. So right now I could totally take them outside this area so I don't have to separate you know, the other girls and put 
and milk Galera over there. Uh, and that's what I plan to do if things are the same by the time that they are eight weeks. I mean, I do have a plan. I do think what I'm doing up as far as that. So yeah, that's, that's the plan for now. And that's why I'm not milking Clara right now. Again, this is not vet advice. This is not, you know, I'm not telling you what to do with your farm. And I'm sure the two week separation works for everyone out there and even for moms that have quads. I'm just trying to, to be honest, my goal with breeding these goats is that they will be the healthiest that they could possibly be by the time they're ready to go to a new home or in general, just as goats, if they're gonna stay in the farm, the more that I need to worry about these kids is in the beginning, giving them everything that they need to get a good head start and then just continuing helicopters logging. I'm over it by now. And just kind of continue. I probably have mud all over my face. That's okay. I don't care. Helicopters are still around. See if you can see the logs. Can you see the string? Or probably something very mm, uh, a lot stronger than a string. But they're getting all the trees from the top of the mountain and dropping them. So you can see the logs swinging side to side. Annabelle, is that you through the mist? Oh my goodness, Annabelle. Annabelle is getting so... She's all spin, but she's so deep bodied. Can you see? I don't know. I think in this kidding round, it's going to show if she is really as deep bodied as I thought last time. Uh, believe me, she had a ginormous buckling and lots of goats get way bigger than she did. But I always said that she's very much, she has that deep body that Clara has. I couldn't see it when she was younger, but now I totally see. If Clara would walk in on us, which she's not, you could see how they're both about the same death. And Clara, it's been, I mean, I think she. this is her one, two, three, four time kidding. And it is true uh, what they say, that you have to give your does three to four years to actually see them develop. Some people say a year, some others say two years. And you look at that, what's it called? The I'm gonna put it on the screen, but the leg and the chest, you know how it has that little, that's pretty good. I like how she is looking. And uh, she just turned two. Where she's about to turn two. Can't remember her birth date, but I'll put it on the screen. So for those of you that have goats that are younger than three years old, if you have the time, the resources, and want to put the energy on growing them until they're three or four years old, then you can see exactly how they develop. If they have good lines, if they have good pedigrees, uh, chances are that if they're not showing it immediately, they still will develop. And last year I was saying how Annabelle has um, teeth that look to her legs, like point, mm, that's not the way that they're looking right now. And I was told but that by that breeder, but not that one, the breeder that um, we're buying the, our buckling from, she said that it takes two to three years to actually see how another is fully developed. And this is her second year freshening. And uh, she's looking at me like, I know I'm so pretty, right? Look at me, mom. I am putting myself in like the best position so you can judge my body structure. Oh, Annabelle, you like the font.
<laughs> Anyways, out of Mocha and Annabelle, I thought Mocha would be a lot more, um, that she'd have a lot of more things that I like about Clara's body structure, but Annabelle is looking amazing. Can you see those? Th I mean, if you ever seen, I'm gonna put it on the screen, but there's this um, judging sheet that tells you how the front legs and how it connects to the chest, you know, that angle, how it needs to work. And Annabelle, I'm pretty surprised. When we got her, she was barely developing and that kind of shows me that by kidding or freshening, they change. I'm just so happy. I want to stay here and stare at her. Maybe I should take a picture. So when I look at those, and that's something you can do, like take a good picture of your dough and then uh, analyze it by those drawings, by um, a DGA in line appraisal. I'm just liking what I'm seeing, Annabelle. You're a little bully, but you're a cute and good structure bully. I'm gonna try to breed her, even though she's older and we're gonna have a little buckling. I'm gonna try to breed her to our new buckling, which I'll share his name in a... Let's see if she stays in that position. If I get closer, because she'll want pets. And I'm still slipping around in these shoes. I think you look so cute, mama. You look so good. Look at your long feet. Going to see if I can find another angle for another picture for the website. Annabelle, I love you. You're, you're such a good girl. Thanks, Annabelle. Hey, thank you, sweet girl. Oh, you're so pretty.